In this video, I'm going to be painting in a colouring book. And not one of the adult colouring books with lots of detail. No. In a little kid's colouring book. <laughs> but there's also another catch. This is one of the colouring books where you just add water. It's like a painting type book. I've never used one of these, I didn't really know they existed, but I was in a shop and I went to the kids section, okay, to have a look at some art supplies because I thought I could make a funny video with it. And I came across this book. It's Paint With Water, Frozen theme. You guys know me, I love Frozen. Uh, <laughs> No, this is completely different to my usual content. So you guys expecting a horror story and creepy drawings, it's not happening in this particular video. But maybe in a future video, I could do a twisted version of Elsa with blood and gore. But in this video, I'm keeping it wholesome, keeping it family friendly. And we're just going to have a lovely time here, trying out these paint with water thingies on the paper, whatever it is. So you just need a paintbrush, a little palette thing of water and you dip the water on the page on the colored marker things and rub it around a bit and then you get paint it's really cool it's good for kids i imagine i mean that's obviously its target demographic not a 27 year old male who's into drawing creepy things but you know it's all about inclusion these days so don't judge me the reason why i think this is pretty cool is because you don't need to buy any other art supplies. Just have a paintbrush and some water and you can go from there. The paints turn out really light, I would say. So obviously it's not going to be as good quality as regular watercolours. You can't really get as vibrant of a colour. It's really washed out looking. But you can still do some cool effects. For kids learning how to do painting, it's a cool book. I'll give it that. The designs aren't great. But, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So I'm pretty much finishing up the first little image, the start of the book. This was meant to be a test run, but I kind of got into it a little bit more than I care to admit. So I thought I'd go back in with some pencils and I can add a bit more vibrant detail to it and finish it off really nice. But I wanted to show you guys just how it looked using just watercolour. You can get some really soft effects, which look quite nice. I don't know if it picks up very well on camera. Because it's a bit pale, not super vibrant, I don't know if it looks as good as it does in person. Because it actually looks pretty decent for like a $2 art book. Can't really complain about that. So I'm going in with some Prismacolor pencils, just to add a bit more colour and add some texture in there as well. The crazy thing is, I feel like you could spend a lot of time on this, and I probably spent a bit more time than I was initially planning on doing, and making them into a really cool artwork. The point of this video, I guess, is to showcase you can create cool stuff with really cheap art supplies. Not having good art supplies shouldn't be your excuse for not creating art, because you can still create really cool stuff with basic art supplies, cheap art supplies, just learn how to utilize them to their full potential. Yes, these paintings won't be as nice as something from like Windsor and Newton and awesome watercolor paints, but you can still have a lot of fun with it and I think you can still learn something from it. For me, I kind of want to experiment a bit more with watercolors, so just dabbling in this where there's no pressure to do anything great because it's a $2 art book, I can just doodle in it. If it looks bad, whatever, like no big deal. It kind of sets me up really well for when I want to invest in some more expensive watercolours and experiment with them. Because for me, I use Copics a lot more, I don't really do much with a paintbrush, so it's just good practice to get ready for that. And that's something I want to jump into more, probably in the coming weeks, months. That's definitely something I'm looking forward to trying out, so keep an eye out on the channel if you want to see some watercolour paintings in the future. I definitely want to do that. Funny story when it comes to this book. So I was at, I think it was like Kmart or Target here in Australia, and they've got like a kid section where you can buy all art stuff and a bunch of knickknacks and everything. And I was just having a look at the art supplies and books and whatever. And I came across a bunch of kind of fun coloring books and some different kind of, some different stuff you might see on the channel in the future. And <laughs> I decided I'd grab them. They're so cheap, that's the cool thing about like these kids' art supplies and books. 
they're really cheap. So I grabbed a bunch of different ones and then I went to the counter to buy it and there's just this other guy at the counter and I'm thinking like, I'm gonna get grilled for buying these or they're gonna think I've got a kid or something. <laughs> and I go to the counter and I'm buying the books and he's like, oh yeah, you're buying these for your kid. And like, I didn't, I kind of just like froze. I'm like, Ugh. I just went along with it because I didn't really want to explain that no, you know, I'm 27, but I'm, I'm drawing these myself. I'm really into fruit. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Okay. So I just said yes. And he's like, oh, that's, that's really cool. You know, I wish my kid, <laughs> he's like, I wish my kids were into drawing. They just get bored of it too quickly and move on to the next thing. That's really cool. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah. It's really good to, to give your kids these books and uh, yeah. So basically I pretended I had a kid because I was too embarrassed buying these books, you know, so that was a fun experience. I'm sure I really looked the part as well. 27 year old dude, got some tattoos, buying a, a Disney Frozen coloring book. Not my proudest moment. I knew what was gonna happen as well. When I went to the counter, I knew they're gonna think I've got a kid and it just makes me feel like I'm getting really old. <laughs> don't have kids all right I'm still young <laughs> so I'm just finishing off the drawing I went in with a white gel pen as I always do to add some final little sparkle effects just give it the, the final touches for this little masterpiece I've got to admit I got way more into this than I was expecting like this was meant to be a practice run I wasn't even meant to finish this drawing and I just kept going. I'm like, oh, look, these are some nice watercolor effects. I'm liking that. I'm liking the little colors here. It's turning out pretty good. I'll just keep going. I'll add pencil. I'll add white gel highlights. Next thing you know, I've spent like an hour or two on this drawing. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? So I thought I'd do another drawing for you guys. As that was the test run where I spent no time on, I thought, you know what? I'll do a proper one. Uh, not really. Spent ages on the other one. So instead of doing one of the more detailed pictures in this book, which still aren't that detailed, I thought I'd go with a simple one because I spent way, way too long on the first drawing. So I'm keeping it simple for this. We've got Elsa looking elegant in that gown. Just so elegant. <laughs> I've never actually watched Frozen, I have to admit. It's, you know, not really my thing. I mean, yes, it's my favourite show. The interesting thing with these books is there's not many colors to work from. There's like five colors. Let me check. Okay, there's six colors. I'm wrong. There is a massive selection of colors here. A whole six colors. We've got blue, yellow, red, green, purple, and orange. So lots of colors. But of course, with watercolors, you can mix stuff. So you can actually get a lot more tones than just those six colors. So it was kind of fun to work with a limited color scheme, limited color palette, I suppose, and just see what you can do with it. Because Elsa is predominantly wearing blue and kind of icy looking things, I decided to do the backgrounds using the yellow, red, and orange to make her pop out. I know it could look cool doing some icy backgrounds for Elsa because, you know, it makes sense, but I felt like that would just make her blend too much into the background, especially because I don't have that many. I've got one blue, basically, so I could mix some of that with like a purple or red and get a couple of different tones of that, but I feel like it wasn't enough to really want to do a blue background for this piece. The oranges, reds, yellows help pop her out a bit from the page and it looks nice. It looks simple, but it's still effective and I feel like that gives it a nice look. So that's about it for this piece. These two drawings I did for you guys, I hope you liked them. I know it's super different from what I regularly do, but I felt like mixing it up. I wanna try some new things and just have some fun. Keep it lighthearted sometimes. Not everything has to be super serious on this channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys wanna see more weird stuff like this, let me know. Maybe if this video gets like, let's just say 5,000 likes, I'll make a whole video coloring in every single picture in this book. In the one video, I'll do like a challenge where I fill in a whole kid's book pro artist style. I think that could be kind of fun. So hit the like button and maybe I'll do that. I'll be back with another drawing next week. 
so be sure to like and subscribe to support my channel and make sure you don't miss out any future uploads. But thank you guys for supporting my channel. I really appreciate you guys for sticking around. And I'll catch you guys next week in the next drawing video. I'll see you then. Let it go. Let it go. Da, 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 da. Don't know the song. Yeah.